All right, you guys, I had a little bit of time this day and I was driving past, so I thought I would pop into my value village to see if there's anything that I could find uh, to pick up and flip for a profit. As you can see, I'm walking through the art first. I actually need some art for my bedroom. My bedroom that I moved into is pretty plain, so I was looking for anything that I might like. Um, oh, and that particular painting up there, my mom collects those, but I didn't find anything, so I didn't stay too long in this section. They're also doing some remodeling in my store, so this section was a little smaller than it normally is. Um, I thought that was kind of cute. It's uh, definitely like a hobbyist piece. So I didn't have much time this particular day, so I did go fairly quickly through the aisles. I just kind of wanted to see what they had. I was hoping to find some things, but stay tuned to the end of the video to get my thoughts on this trip. It actually didn't go very well, so um, I kind of give you guys a breakdown at the end of the video, but um, I probably should have spent more time in the hard goods section. I just have a lot of hard goods in my death pile, so I really wanted to focus on clothing, um, but I did walk through here first since I started over by the art. Um, so I did walk through here. The prices looked a little bit lower than the last trip when I came here last time prices were pretty crazy so um, this time I noticed the pricing was a little bit more reasonable but I still didn't end up picking up any pieces this day let me know if you guys see anything that you think I should have stopped to pick up um, I only had about 30 minutes to be in the store and I wanted to get to the clothing so that's why I didn't spend much time in this section I was looking at these little pots. They were priced at $7.49 each, though, and they look like just, you know, modern. Probably came from, like, TJ Maxx or something. A lot of glassware. I thought these plates were very pretty with the daisies on them, but they were also modern. Uh, this aisle, I'm not quite sure what was supposed to be happening on this aisle. It was kind of a mixture of things. Every thrift store I go in has one of these aisles where I can't quite tell what the theme of the aisle is. It's just kind of random. All right, we made it all the way over to the shoes now. So I'm trying to see if there's any shoes worth picking up. I had gone through like two aisles of shoes before I started filming and I was just disappointed with the prices. As you can see, these Vince Camuto Espadrilles, $15.00. I might even like n not even consider picking those up at the bin, so definitely wasn't going to pick them up at that price. And I've never heard of that brand, but for $12, I didn't think it was even worth looking up. They didn't feel that quality. Those were really, really light. I could tell those didn't have any quality to those. They, um, they were just too light. Here's some Saludos for $9.29. I actually have been having a hard time getting Saludos to move, so I've been, I've been really picky or basically not even picking those up at all anymore even on two dollar a day here's a pair of fry um, shoes I don't like the style on these though and they had them priced at twenty dollars so I did not grab those so I have been to this store several times with you guys before like filmed videos with you guys in this store and this is the problem I find all the time at this store which is why I almost never come here anymore their prices are just so high um, the way that they do it though, they do have one tag every week that is 50% off and it, but it will be 50% off for the whole week. So, um, if you went on like a Sunday when it turns over to the 50% off, you might be able to find some good deals for the items that they had priced just too high, you know, that sat until they went half off. But I don't know. I just really struggle every time I come here finding anything worth picking up. Like those J crew espadrilles were 979. I don't know. Espadrilles in general don't do very good for me. I don't know why I'm looking at so many pairs of espadrilles this particular day. Um, and as you can see, they were all priced too high. I wanted to show you this too. It's a lounge fly, um, just a wallet at the, they had priced at $25. So uh, I'm just really struggling to find anything. And then I went to through the purses. I didn't see much here either. Again, it's either just really overpriced for the items that were quality or just a lot of non-quality items. So um, anyway, I'm pretty much wrapping up my trip here. I did go through a few more aisles, but didn't film because I was kind of waiting to film until I found something and I just really never found anything. So I ended up leaving empty handed. Oh, this, by the way, was very, very fake, extremely fake and poor quality. And they still had it priced at $35, which I thought was pretty hilarious. So that was kind of my luck that day at this store.
Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that trip to Value Village. So Value Village, if you guys don't know, it's the same as Savers. I think they're called Savers in a lot of other states, but here it's called Value Village, um, owned by the same company. So it is a for-profit, like most of the thrift stores are. Most of the big chains are for-profit. Um, I think they do have a very small portion of their... Um, you know, like revenue that goes to uh, local charities, but it's very minimal. So anyway, they do have a similar model to Goodwill. So all of their products are donations. And I, this location that I went to in this video used to be my favorite place to thrift before I was a reseller. I loved going there. The pricing was a lot lower, a lot more reasonable. And I used to buy stuff for myself and my family there. Um, so it's just really sad to see what's happened to the store. So on top of the pricing being what you guys would have seen, just really crazy. In fact, I don't even know how much I showed you guys on camera because I was trying to save the filming for when I found something, but I wasn't finding anything. I found like a pillow that I was kind of interested in. It looked like a good quality pillow, but then I noticed there was some damage on it and it was unbranded, even though it was like a tapestry pillow and the quality looked okay, but it was uh, unbranded. So I think it might've actually been like Shein or something. And there was some poles in it um, and they wanted $8 for it. So I don't know. It's just like, that was one thing. I showed you guys the wallet. There was shoes that I would have potentially been interested in, but their shoes were priced anywhere from like 15 to 15 to $30. I did find a pair of fry boots and got excited about those until I saw that they were $30 um, and a really small size. So there was a lot of negative factors on top of that. Um, and worn, they were pretty worn. What else did I see? I'm trying to remember now. I did see a pair of Harley Davidson boots. Those were $40, also a small size. I don't know. I just was really disappointed. So that's why I wanted to just have like a little chat after the video. I was really disappointed because I walked through that whole store, you guys. I started with jewelry, realized pretty quickly that all of the quality jewelry was behind the counter priced up and everything that they had out uh, for you to, you know, look through was not quality. Now, I went through all these sections very quickly. So had I given more time, I mean, I was in the store for 45 minutes, but each section I gave very little time to. So um, had I really sat there and sorted through everything, maybe I could have found like one or two things priced at a reasonable price, but I really just don't think so, you guys, because every time I go to the store, I find the same problem. I think that they have hired people that know how to check comps, just like we do as resellers. I think they've trained, I think they're watching reseller videos and reseller content. They've trained their employees to do, to think like a reseller. So they're checking comps on eBay or Poshmark and pricing accordingly. So everything that I found was priced um, I mean, I even found some things priced over eBay prices. Um, I found a vintage uh, silk two-piece set that I thought was really cute. Based on style, I might have bought it because I do like buying vintage, but they had it priced for the set, the two pieces, for $50. And when I checked on eBay for that particular vintage brand to see if maybe it was like a really well-known vintage brand, I'd never heard of it. Um, they were selling for like $30 for similar pieces. So I obviously was like, okay, that's not going to work. So there was just a lot of really disappointing. They're just, the prices are, um, they're just not as a reseller, there was nothing, I, I couldn't find anything worth reselling, even though I went, like I said, started to say, I went through the jewelry, I went really quick through the hard goods, went through the pillows and linens, even looked really fast through the toys to see if there's anything I recognized. I went through shoes, handbags, and um, I went through a couple racks of clothes. And then at the end, I was so disappointed, you guys, because at the end, I still had like 15 more minutes. So I was like, I want to find something. So there was a new rack just sitting there. Um, like they put them in the center aisle and then they take stuff off of it, go put it away and come back to get more. The employees do. So I saw a new rack sitting there. There were no employees standing by the rack. It looked like whoever was, you know, taking stuff off that was not there. 
and I've never had an issue at this store before looking at the new rack. So I started to look through the, the rack and as I was looking through it, an employee started to walk up to the rack. And so I did what I always do when that happens. I step back and say, oh, I'm so sorry. And started to walk away um, because I, you know, I, I, I don't know if they have a problem with it, but I always feel kind of weird. So I'm like, okay, I'll just, I'll leave. But I didn't prevent him from being able to do his job. I just kind of stepped back like, oh, sorry about that and started to walk away because I wasn't finding anything anyway. And he's like, just so you know, you're not allowed to look through these racks. You need to wait till we put them out on the floor. And I was like, okay, that was kind of like the last straw. Like he was nice about it, but at the same time, I just felt really unwelcome. And it's like, at that point, I'm like, already I felt really every time I go here, I, I feel so frustrated when I see these prices so high. And I know most of that they're not selling. I can't imagine what they're doing with it. They used to do sales. They stopped doing their sales. They used to offer like 50% off sales once, once a month for the whole store. And they don't do that anymore. And they used to send all kinds of coupons. I still get the coupon emails, but they're very rare now when I get them. And when I do get them, there's always in the fine print, uh, a max discount and the max dis they'll say like 30% off all shoes or something but then there'll be that max discount in the fine print and it's always something crazy low like one time it was literally like eight dollars max discount of eight dollars so it's like okay 30% off what like one or maybe two pairs of shoes at the way you guys price stuff like how is that it's not that good of a discount I don't know. So there's that. They stopped doing their sales. They stopped doing their discount. They raised the prices to crazy amounts. At this particular store, they shut, they used to have dressing rooms and they used to have a restroom. They shut them down. You can't use a restroom or dressing rooms anymore, which makes it really hard when I'm shopping with my toddler because she sometimes has to go randomly. Even if I ask her if she needs to go before we leave the house, we'll get into the store and she'll be like, I have to go right now. And so it's very inconvenient. I've had to like leave the store with my cart and run across the street to somewhere that has a bathroom before. And you know, it's just like all those little things add up to the point where it's like, I just don't feel comfortable shopping here anymore. So I am not gonna be shopping at Value Village anymore. Sorry for the rant, you guys. I just got super frustrated today. It's like, geez, like, Yes, I know I'm a reseller. I know some people are going to be like, oh, you shouldn't feel entitled to get good deals when you go to thrift stores. And it's not just about that. It's just like the principle. Like they're getting this stuff for free. They mark it up to crazy prices. I know they're not selling it to our local community. So I feel like what they're doing is marking it up crazy, getting as much as they can out of the stuff, and then probably selling it in bulk to like third world countries um, and you know selling it by the bail or something I don't know or selling it to um, like recycle textile selling it for recycled textiles or something I don't know what the heck they're doing but they are not selling it to the community so it's just frustrating it's really frustrating so I am not going to be shopping at Value Village anymore because every time I go in there I just leave kind of annoyed and frustrated and then today like I said, after that employee was like, oh, you can't, you can't look at these racks. I'm like, why? You have it just sitting on the floor here. Like, I don't know. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then I left. I, as soon as he said that, I was like, okay, I am not going to waste any more time. Even though I had like 15 more minutes, I'm like, I'm not going to waste one more minute in this store because I can't find anything. I don't feel like they really actually value their customers at all because they've gotten rid of all of their deals and sales and their coupons that they used to do, everything is just like gone. Um, they don't have a restroom, they don't have, I mean, they just stopped catering to like the people. I don't know, it's weird. Maybe let me know if you guys think I'm being too sensitive or too critical or whatever, let me know. But I just, I just how like, I was fed up with them today. I was like, that's it, I'm done, no more Value Village. But luckily my Goodwill, which is actually even a little bit closer to my house, um, is, a, their prices are crazy still, but they're, they're still do sales. There's, they still have a nice clean restroom that they maintain and have available for their customers and a dressing room. And they're still 
nice to people. They let me look on the new racks, even if they're actually actively putting stuff away, they'll be like, oh, go ahead, we don't mind. Like they're actually friendly and kind. And I don't know, I just, I just really had a bad experience today at Value Village. And it's not just today, it's been a compounding problem. And so that's why I just got so fed up. I was like, okay, that's it. Like I've been trying to make this relationship work with you, Value Village, but if you're gonna be just mean to me, then I'm out. So. That was it, that was my day at Value Village. So I'm sorry I didn't have much footage for you guys from that store location. I just couldn't do it, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't find anything worth sharing with you guys while I was in there as far as like any good deals. I walked out with nothing and I walked out flustered. So that's what happened and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me video um, and the little rant, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, I'm sure it'll be divided. Some people are gonna, if you're a reseller, I think you'll sympathize. If you're not, probably think I'm being entitled, but either way, let me know your thoughts. And um, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.